Please subscribe, this is Joking Johnson before here bring you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team and also today I'm gonna show you guys how I ended up spending 160,000 coins. Now usually I will make like separate videos on buying the cards, you know, the new people that I'm adding to my team. But there was a problem with my recording device, which is the HD PVR2. I don't know what the hell was wrong with it, but it but it was acting up and my videos got like so chopped up, like it like black in, black out, like it was just it was so weird, like it was acting up the voice and the recording was like way out of hand and I'm like what the fuck so my recording messed up so badly that I'm like damn I'm gonna have to show you guys like by the other way so for sure some of you guys can already tell like some of the differences you know who who are the new additions and who did I take out and blah blah you know for those of you guys who have been keeping up with me here in Madden 15 well the new additions are Cameron Wake this guy named Su or Sue Tomato Tomato I don't give a damn He's from the Detroit Lions and he's pretty good. Well, he looks pretty good, you know, 89 overall. Let's see what this guy can do. Um, and then another new guy will be Lance Briggs. So we brought in three new defensive players. And this guy over here, Rasheen Mathis, we ended up trading him towards my team. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to start him in game number four, though. I have a feeling that I still need to play Brandon Brown like one more time just to make sure. Well, actually, I know most of you guys would start protesting against me because, you know, you guys... Saw that Brandon Banner got burned so badly. Yes, I know. But I, I don't know, guys. And by the way, I don't have enough coins to buy another corner anyways. So I'm going to have to go with how what I have. You know, Brandon Browner or Sheen Mathis. So yeah, I brought in three new defensive players. Uh, Su, Cameron Wake, and Lance Briggs. And offense, I only added Bo Jackson because they gave him for free. So we're going to be able to see Bo Jackson as a starter. He's actually better than Doug Martin. So... Yeah, a lot of people have Bo Jackson for free, so we all have a taste of how Bo Jackson can do if you were to have the 99 overall Bo Jackson. Can't wait to lock him somehow, some way. I don't know, maybe like one in a million. <laughs> so, uh, what else do we add? That's it. Nobody else in offense. It was only Bo Jackson for free because they gave it to you because of the Madden season whatever thingy. On defense, it was three. So let me show you guys the process. Who did I buy first and how did I buy him? Was it bidding? Was it auction? Well... Um, yeah, actually all of them were auctions. So let me show you guys like step by step on how it went down. As you can see, I was bidding for Lance Briggs for a little bit right there. He was actually going for 15,000 coins and then some asshole started to bid on him. And I'm like, God damn it, just give it to me. Because most of these guys get them and then they resell them like for... I'm like, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> if you don't need him, I need him, man. I need him because my, my team wants to win. So anyways, we got ourselves Cameron Wake right there for 68,000 coins but first we ended up unlocking Bo Jackson uh, for the uh, MUT item whatever blah blah you know for free first it was that one and then I decided to actually jump into the auctions we got Cameron wait for 68,000 coins if you guys remember I had 165,000 coins in the bank well there it goes guys I ended up going, getting like around 98,000 coins at the end after I bought Cameron Wake. And let me show you guys why I decided to buy Cameron Wake over whoever person was there over Cameron Wake. Uh, Cameron Wake, he reminds me a lot of Ozio Manura. I don't know if you guys remember that guy from the New York Giants a long time ago. Ozio Manura was a beast, man. He was super quick. He's just super quick. And as you can see here, guys, our previous defensive end, Demontre Moore, he was a beast back in Season 4 and Season 3. But this year, I think we need a faster guy, an explosive guy out there. So this guy, Cameron Wake, is going to provide us with more sacks for sure. Look at his speed. 85 speed, 95 acceleration. Good amount of speed right there. Nice strength, by the way. 84 strength, the same way as the Montremore. The tackling uh, amount is the same. Block shin is kind of low, but he doesn't need that. Let me tell you guys why he doesn't need block shin. Look at his finesse move. 96 for Nesmo. This guy's untouchable. This guy's it was a, it's a pass rusher. I can't wait what he can do. He's a fast guy out there. I mean, look at this. This is pure insanity. I don't know. But hopefully we see more of this guy when it comes down to the game time. So that was our first buy. Our second buy, I believe, was Lance Briggs. Uh, let me see. Let me check the history. The reason why I'm doing this, guys, because I want to let you guys know that I'm not using real money. Most of the Madden YouTubers out there, whoever you subscribe to right now, guys, and look at your timeline, look at their coins. Look at their coins. Look at that little green point over there where it says points. The points is the real money. That means they use real money to buy their players. And they're not doing it like us. You know, the struggle. We're fighting for cards. We're doing auctions. We're doing bidding. 
they don't know the, the feel, you know. And I know the feel. I'm putting so many hours into solo chats and stuff. And, you know, I know you guys know what's up, you know. So, anyways, yeah, that's how you can tell uh, people are actually using real money to buy cars. And I don't like that, guys. It, I mean, everything's already provided for you guys here in the solo challenges. So, there's really no need to buy um, the, the cars with real money. So, anyways, uh, there was a lens Briggs going up for around 15,000 coins, like I was saying in the beginning. And um, we ended up bidding all the way up to 30,000. And then some ass was just stepped in and bought it like for 46,000. I'm like, because that was like the full amount. And I was like, well, what the fuck? You know, I was going to get them for so cheap. So I ended up not buying Lance Briggs. And I waited for a while. I actually waited like for two hours just to buy another Lance Briggs because I wasn't sure. Or an hour. It was an hour, actually. An hour it separated. I actually ended up setting Joe Gibbs. One guy in the comment section told me that Joe Gibbs only gave it to the legend, legendary players his his stats. He was going to give me plus two room blocking, but the thing is, he can only give it to the legendary player. So that's a good heads up. Thank you, whoever is that subscriber. Thank you a lot. I actually ended up going back to the card and looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, it does say there in the description. So anyways, I ended up buying... Lance breaks for 39,000 coins as you guys remember for the previous four weeks I've been mentioning this guy he was going like for around 50,000 60,000 and now he's going for 39,000 because Khalil Mack ended up coming out for team of the week so Lance Briggs 39,750 let's check why he's pretty good and why does he deserve to be on my team so let's go to the defense right out to linebacker Lance Briggs replaced Levante David I don't have Lamonte David because I ended up trading for uh, Rasheed Mathis to my brother. If you guys don't know who my brother is, um, that will be Dark Raven. That's, it's another YouTuber and um, also he's in MenInAllStars.com. So, yeah, that's who I traded Lamonte David to. Lamonte David was pretty good. It's just that uh, he over-pursued it. That's why I didn't want Lamonte David anymore. I'm like, yeah, you know, he's okay, but he overdid it. But over here, Lance Briggs, as you can see, he does have a good amount of balancing going on. 93 Pursuit. It was an okay Pursuit. Play recognition is 95. 94 Tackling. 90 Acceleration. You know, he has a good amount of speed. Look at that. 93 Speed. 90 Acceleration. A good amount of Strength. Another thing that pretty much makes me kind of, you know, okay against the run, against the run games will be the Block Shedding. 88 Block Shedding. So this guy can actually be blocked sometimes, which is good. So now he's going to actually disrupt those runs. The zone coverage is kind of low. Levante David had 88. I'm surprised with that guy. What the hell did they give him? <laughs> so anyways, another thing that really surprised me the most about Lance Briggs will be his hit, hit power. He does have a good amount of hit power, so he can actually force some fumbles out there, which is good. I don't want any kind of weakling. He has 90 hit power. What the hell? It told me 94 earlier. Huh. I was finally looking at Levante Davis. So... Anyways, Lance Briggs into our team now. Okay, it gave me a lot of run stuff. And also, by the way, take a look in the top right corner of your screen right now, guys. 99 run stuff, 99 ground and pound. 88 overall team. It's looking sweet, guys, if you ask. Our next buy after Lance Briggs was on uh, this guy, Suh. I don't know how to say his first name. Namdika Suh? I don't know how the fuck. What the hell named that guy? Seriously. <laughs> Who was the mother? I mean, it's not, it's not, I'm, I'm not saying that he's ugly or anything. I'm just saying that, you know, kind of his first name has to be like a normal person. You know, we don't want to name some kind of weird stuff like that. So uh, I ended up sending some of the offensive playbooks that I had just laying around because I wanted to make some extra coins. Because at this point, I only had like around 68,000 coins or 65 at some point. I don't know. You guys might want to do the math here and add everybody up so you guys can see how much I actually spent. Well, this guy was going for around 60. For around actually 46,000 coins on bidding. But I was checking the other car. I was like, okay, let me go back to it and I'll check some other cards. And then I forgot. And then I went back to looking for for Su. And um, he wasn't there no more. And I was like, damn it. So I ended up buying it for full price 64,000 coins, which is not that bad if you ask me. I mean, this guy was going for around 80,000 coins weekly. He was going for that high. So um, I'm surprised he went down, even though there was no new DTs added to the. Uh, to the team of the week or any kind of a DTs, you know. So um, I ended up spending 64,000 coins on sub, which I think is a good addition. If you guys remember my first three games of the season, actually every single game of season five, my defensive linemen were being clowned on. They were not doing good. So, um, yeah, I mean, it rose a lot of questions, you know, do I need a new defensive lineman? And I said, yes, 
I really do. I need somebody productive, some run stoppers out there, some real run stoppers, so we can get the you know, so we don't make him get first down or nothing. Like I want the best run stoppers out there. So we ended up getting sub, and the reason why he was so good, you know, over Marcel Darius and Nada. Because look at him, I mean, he has a good amount of power moves out there. 96 power moves, 94 strength, so that's a D real DT right there. A good amount of speed. Does he have acceleration? He does have acceleration, does he? Where's What the fuck is acceleration? They hide it all the way back here. Good amount of acceleration, which means this guy could be a good pass rusher. So he's like a slash pass rusher run stopper at the same time. He does have a little bit less of block shading, but it ain't that bad since you have 96 power moves. So all you can expect, this guy moving offensive lineman. Like towards the opposite side of where the person is running on the on your enemy side, so he's okay. So it's an okay pickup. It's not that big of a deal, but it does make a, a major improvement on the defense alignment. So at least we got somebody more productive this time. So that's it, guys. We ended up picking so Cameron Wake, Lance Briggs, and that's it. Only these three guys from the 165,000 coins that we had on our bank. That's a lot. A lot of coins <laughs> so hopefully this let's see if it's worth it guys we'll see if it's worth it or not in game number four on our season five and um yeah if you guys think this was a good pickup you know sa cameron wake and lance briggs if you guys think it was a good pickup let me know in the comment section if you guys thought i was, I was supposed to pick up somebody else let me know in the comment section because I know I missed a lot of players out there that were like a lot cheaper and they had a high overall and also my cornerbacks I know guys, they have been targeted for the past three games and haven't done nothing about it. But for sure, my next large quick so I don't know when it's going to be. Um, I'll get somebody. For I will promise you guys, I'll get somebody so you guys won't be, you know, all pissy about it. Because I know you guys have requested a lot of times to replace Brandon Browner several times and get somebody new. So, um, yeah. So that's it, guys. Subscribe for more. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later. And subscribe for more Man 15 Ultimate Team.